Hey there, friends. Welcome back to another Dinkum build video. Uh, this one's going to be a little different. Normally, we build faux buildings and do a lot of outdoor decorating. Um, but I thought it might be fun, especially now with the Breezy Autumn Experimental Beta out for everyone um, and all the new items that are included. It might be fun to try something that is not only a challenge to me, but something I don't see many of us in Dinkum doing. That's right. We're going to do some interiors, a, a home interior. In fact, um, when we did the creator challenge, 15 by 15 challenge, I was given the house and had to decorate the inside and do a little landscaping on the outside. Because for whatever reason, I have a difficult time decorating in Dinkum. Uh, which is ironic because with Animal Crossing, I loved doing all the insides of the houses, but there's just some sort of I don't know, mental block. But we've got a lot of new goodies that can help us out. So let's get started. I have fully upgraded my house. This is the biggest you can get it at this current point in the game. Um, so that's where we're starting from. And I've already got some wood flooring on the wall of uh, the floor and the green, the pastel green wallpaper on the walls. I've got, I've been in a green kick lately and I figured I'd just keep going with that. There are some new items in the game that can make interior decorating a little bit more easy, for lack of a better word. Uh, these interior walls and archways, I think, can be found at Melvin's store, and you can purchase them. I do not believe they are a recipe, but I am not 100% certain on that, so I don't quote me on that. But I think these are something you purchase from Melvin, just like the wallpaper and the flooring. Um, and there is this full-size wall with these arch doorways, and then there's a half wall, like a little pony wall. And they really do help divide off spaces in the houses now. Um, it's pretty great. Don't you just love how that's blocking my face? Awesome. So I think the main idea here is to have like a main living space out there with like a living room kitchen, and then to do maybe a bedroom bathroom here in the back. Um, and now that we have items for a bathroom, this will be so much easier. One of the new items that's going to be coming to the game is this awesome new bathtub. <laughs> yeah, you can actually get in it and lay down. Isn't this great? I, I love this. This is probably one of my favorite new things. Um, all right, we, we can't sleep just yet. We have got things to do. Let's see here. I have never, <laughs> never really had the opportunity to decorate s rooms this way in Dinkum. Usually, um, you know, you just kind of have to use other items to sort of divide the space for you. It's kind of nice being able to kind of block some stuff off, not really want it to be seen. I don't know that the toilet is like the first thing you probably should see when you come into a, a bathroom, <laughs> right? I mean, we, we, we want to look at something nicer, perhaps. Um, so maybe let's move some things around. The thing is with these uh, interior walls, you do have to, you can't really put anything super flush um, to the wall because they do take up some of that square. Um, yes, that's much better, don't you think? And we can't put anything on the walls just yet, but I do feel like perhaps one day that will be coming. After the Summer Sun update, I didn't think he could possibly top himself. Uh, but we've had so many uh, great little sneak peeks of all the things that are going to be added to this new update called Breezy Autumn. And uh, it's very exciting. I cannot wait for everybody to try it out. And I'd love to show you all the new things, but some of that stuff, I feel like uh, I should let you guys discover it on your own. <sighs> the one thing about this is just trying to get a good, a good placement for things so it's not in the way. Let's see. Too bad I can't put it in the wall, right? <laughs> And there it's kind of blocking a door. So let's see if we can't put it here. And let's get out a friend. I really would love to put this doggo on this doggo plush on the bed. 
that would be the perfect and ideal spot for it. Add a little bit of color, some bookshelves. Just resting my eyes. Not too bad. We could also completely redo this and put the bed on this wall and give us a little bit more space on either side. Let's get to reconfiguring. Well, if I could get out of my own way, that would be great. It's a nice life lesson, right? We could just get out of our own way. <laughs> I feel like there's something there. I'm an avid reader, so let's have some bookcases. over here. Or maybe we take out that, whoops, and put that in its place. One thing I do wish we had was rugs. I feel like that would just be like the cherry on top. But I do like this configuration a little bit better. It definitely fills up the space better without too many empty spots. And uh, hey, I say it's success. What do you guys think? This space I think I want to divide living room, kitchen, big open room, pretty standard stuff. Let's see here. Make a fireplace the focal point. You can maybe put a chair in a chair. How about some little end tables? tight. I'm not sure this is a great way to go here. I wish we could place things on the half circle, half square. Y'all know what I mean, right? <laughs> would definitely make this make more sense. Actually, kind of like framing this out with another bookcase. What do y'all think? All right, I've got another idea here. books. Always more books. You can never have too many. If anybody tells you you can, they are not a good friend to you. <laughs> no, that might be a little too much. Okay, I take back what I just said. If only we could uh, center this under the window. I feel like it's a little open, a little too open, but maybe we just live with it like this for a bit and see what happens. Now we just need some details. Not 
not too bad. All right, let's move on to the kitchen. You say an actual house building, there's like this perfect trifecta where you put the refrigerator in just the right spot and the stove in just the right spot. make a triangle. I'm thinking about making a kitchen island here. What do y'all think? Maybe we'll do it here too. Or should we use actual chairs? Well, let's test that theory out. Instead of putting a typical table, which would take up a lot of, you know, valuable real estate here in our kitchen, if we want to have one that looks like this. I don't know, I think this is pretty good for a galley kitchen. What do you think? Now it's time for a few details. can't have a kitchen without um, some food, right? I do wish I could put some pictures on the wall. Ugh, more than anything. I'm moving some stuff around a little bit here. Let's see. Let's put the teapot over here. And the caviar set over here these, with, with the exception of the coffee cup and the teapot, are fairly new items in the game. I really wish this basket had some towels in it or something. I do kind of like that. And we need some ceiling lights, right? <laughs> so it's not dark in here. I tried it and sadly floor lights do not fit on or do not go on the floor in the houses. But this is a very, very simple and basic way to set up your house. I mean, obviously you could do so much more than this. And there's several different cabinet color choices. Because I use this wall and it takes up an entire square in Thinkum, as you can see, and it's centered in that square, you get a bit of a gap between it and an object. So just keep that in mind if that bothers you. That's something to think about. You don't have to use these new walls and doorways to separate your stuff. Um, people have been doing it the other way for a very long time. But this does give you a lot more options on how to configure your spaces. I could actually put this door in the middle here and put another cabinet and make that um, go all the way to the wall if you want it. It's really just um, a matter of taste at that point. Let's try that out real fast. I think instead of another cabinet, we just put some greenery in here. I think that looks good. Bring some life into the place. So there you have it. Very simple, very basic. Um, I am sure there are people out there that could do it significantly better. But hopefully those who struggle with doing an interior can kind of get the idea um, you know, uh, if, if this spatial awareness is sort of a thing that you struggle with, this might could help you a little bit. I've got a bedroom, I've got a bathroom. You know, the height of luxury here. En suite, right? <laughs> no closet just yet. That could be a thing that you could configure if you wanted to. 
And then you've got the open concept living and dining space. Not too bad for a day's work and only about 30 minutes. So you guys should give it a try. Post some pictures and let me see what you guys make um, with your houses and how you decorate them and how you might utilize these new walls and doorways for the interior of your home. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for us today. I hope you guys enjoyed this and it gives you some inspiration on how to decorate your house in Dinkum. As always, you guys be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and I will see you all in the next one.